I thought I would do a little video on the word jitney, as in jitney bus. Since I did one on Fliver, and this is sort of related. Uh, this is one that I had picked out some time ago that I wanted to do someday because it's another automobile related song written by Byron Gay and I had previously done two of his other songs the little Ford rambled right along and it's a rambling fliver which are both about the Ford Model T also uh, see this picture right here it features a photo of Ray Samuels on the cover who was known as the Blue Streak of Vaudeville and I did another song that had uh, featured her on the cover called You're a Good Old Car But You Can't Climb Hills another car song and there she is and I uh, different pose um, this one's from 1915 and you're a good old car is from 1921 I think, yeah 1921 so we've got these three songs by Byron Gay that this is from 1915 and I think these are from the same time period 1914 and 1917 for this one so uh, what is a jitney well it's another one of those words that the etymology has been lost so we don't know where it came from maybe somebody does but I couldn't find it and uh, in 1886 the first the first known use in writing was in 1886 it was used to mean a nickel Just a nickel and then uh, of course um, there were many different forms of public conveyance for pay before the automobile even but um, when the automobile came along uh, more people could get automobiles than could keep horses and uh, Usually you had to have a horse to uh, pull a cab or anything like that before the automobile and and uh, horses have to be fed and sheltered and there are a lot of trouble to take care of and uh, with an automobile you just make sure it keeps running and if it breaks down you can fix it if a horse breaks down it's usually the end of the horse so uh, a lot of people could get automobiles who couldn't keep horses and people are entrepreneurial and they wanted to use their automobiles to make money so they began uh, charging other people for rides and eventually by the er very early 20th century in the first decade most likely of the uh, 20th century jitney had had be, had sort of uh, shifted over to, to not just meaning strictly a nickel but uh, it was used to refer to a kind of vehicle in which uh, a person who probably didn't have a license and wasn't employed by a bus or a taxi cab company would uh, start their own private uh, comp <laughs> their own private company their own private taxi cab or bus with their automobile and charge only five cents a fare and it became these these vehicles became known as jitney buses because jitney had been the uh, slang word for a nickel or five cent piece and uh, generally the uh, jitneys were uh, just cars that some some were modified some were like this one was built to be more of a, uh, a a van of some sort 
This is a restoration that a guy drives around to uh, car shows and uh, see it has a slot right here where you can stick the nickel in it so he can drive you somewhere. Now I'll just go through these pictures. Uh, nowadays in the present day uh, Jitney is used in some places I've never heard it used around where I live but in some parts of the country it's used just to refer to what we would call what I would know where I live as a shuttle van or a vehicle like this that is basically a very large van with uh, several seats in it so it can move people around but it's not a it's not a large bus <clears throat> It's not like a 70 passenger bus or anything. It probably only hold maybe a couple dozen people at the most and probably fewer than that. And sometimes it's it's uh the word jitney in uh common use now is just used to refer to a so-called short bus uh, a smaller bus that's not m meant to uh convey that many people at a time. And then we have some historical pictures. Here's a a car uh, that a guy was using in Canada, I believe, as a jitney bus. It's just uh, looks like a Model T, a touring Model T with the back seat. And uh, I believe this was from around. Almost all these pictures are going to be from the mid uh, uh, second decade, around 1914, 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there, because there was a huge explosion in popularity of people using jitney buses at that time and uh, eventually I think it just eventually dropped off because more and more people were able to buy their own cars and not have to pay somebody else for a ride somewhere but uh, you can see this one's not modified at all he's just uh, using it as it came and charging people probably a nickel to uh, jump in his back seat and go somewhere more like a taxi than a bus and then here's one you can see some of them some of them were uh, kind of modified a little bit, like uh, this one, uh, it's got bench seats. This was probably uh, a truck, just an open bed truck. And he mounted a roof over it for his passengers and then uh, put benches along this side and as well as the other side, which you can't see from this photo, so people could sit down on the bench and he could really cram people in there and uh, the other bench on the other side most likely is completely full also and he's got at least three guys standing and holding just holding on to something because the more people he could cram in the more money he can make let's see it a nickel a pop one two three four five six so let's see he has six on the other side that's twelve so fifteen so that's seventy five cents right there all those guys. Oh, there's another one back there. I missed him. <laughs> and I don't know what kind of vehicle that is. And that's in New York. And then here's another one that's uh, just... Uh, can't tell exactly what car that is. But uh, this is another one where he's just uh, got a big back seat. He can drive people around. And here's one in San Francisco. He's actually got it. He's only charging, looks like, three cents instead of five cents. So he's trying to undercut the competition, most likely. I think this is another Model T. And uh, he's got his uh, route on a sign here where he goes to San Pedro and Redondo Via Loma. And it looks like he's got. He's got somebody sitting in the passenger seat next to him, and it looks like that back seat is crammed full, too. Now, uh, these were not... This is not the only song about a jitney bus. There's a lot of songs. Uh, this this song is just about... Let's, uh, let's, let me zoom in here. Uh, this, is, this is a cool cover. Check this. Look at this out. We've got a... Uh, we got a model this is definitely a model t <clears throat> with a flat tire and uh, there's dust coming out from everywhere so, or smoke who knows <laughs> and there's gasoline guts behind the steering wheel and uh 
somebody there next to him and apparently the back seat's so full that people are just hanging on for dear life wherever they can get on it so they can get a ride <laughs> that's pretty funny uh we've got a couple of other ones here all aboard for that old jitney ride and this is just a song this is just a song about the jitney bus fad or the big explosion in popularity and uh we can see people standing on the sideboards they're sitting in the seats uh looks like this guy these two guys are both probably standing on the sideboards one person on the passenger side and then like five people crammed into the back seat or maybe they're standing on the back bumper who knows and then this guy back here is trying to catch up and jump on so he can get a ride too and this song is just it's just about the fad of riding a jitney bus uh here's another song father is driving a jitney bus these uh songs are all from that same time period from around 1915 or so and uh this is a good one five cents hence to thence those are lyrics that are in the song and this song is about um a family having lots of extra money because their father is making so much money driving a jitney bus that's what the song is about <laughs> so uh back to gasoline gus here uh bought a jitney bus for a dollar 20. that's pretty cheap even for a model t now, i'm pretty sure this was talking about a, a model t because uh it talks about it being a tin machine which uh was uh, a thing that the uh, model t was called uh, about a guy, a guy named Gus who uh, bought this cheap car and hung a sign on it that said this is gasoline Gus and his jitney bus and we can see he packed them on the fenders and he packed them on the hood he packed them by the dozen and the other dozen stood <laughs> from out the heap there came a cry please take that suitcase out of my eye he really had them packed in hard just like just like these pictures except except we don't we don't actually see anybody sitting on the hood but but still it, uh they had them crammed in pretty good they had a lot of people as many people as they could get in there because that's how they can make the most money uh let's see then the, the next stanza uh he bought a ton of dynamite he bought a pint of gin for his jitney bus I think this is another joke uh it's got a bigger kick than gasoline uh if uh if you watch my uh video about what a flivver is it's mo it's it's all about the model t and the model t because of the peculiar arity of its engine was able to uh, run on other fuels than gasoline namely alcohol and kerosene <clears throat> so uh this is running it on gin is probably a joke about uh how a model t could run on moonshine or alcohol if if it needed to uh it's got a bigger kick than gasoline that's that might be a belief that might have been a belief of people back then that the uh that alcohol gave it a bigger kick but uh it's not actually true it it would uh it would not generate as much horsepower it would have harder time climbing hills and so forth uh, running on alcohol than it would on gasoline but it would still run uh let's see Uh, the finish do you want to hear the end this is where it gets a little weird he bumped into the devil and he got the devil's goat with his jitney bus i i don't i don't know what that means <laughs> yeah, but whatever he did it, it made the devil mad and uh and then suddenly gus was having his way with the devil's wife <laughs> so, uh, uh but when the devil finds out that gus is taken off with his wife he just said well they're a good pair uh there's another uh there's another phrase right here uh uh let's see he made a bigger noise than the devil eating soup how far he went i quite forget but according according to hoyle he's not back yet uh according to hoyle was a series of uh 
game rule books uh, for all kinds of games. I had a, I know a, a long time ago I used to have a uh, book of card games that was called something like 501 card games according to Hoyle or something like that. And another one that was just for solitaire card games called Solitaire according to Hoyle or something. But uh, there were there were more than one of these kind of books put out called According to Hoyle and they were just game rules. And uh, According to Hoyle sort of passed into common usage as an expression for a while. I remember a couple of people saying it uh, a long time ago. I heard a couple of people use it as an expression when I was a kid. And it, it basically just meant, uh, you know, according to what I heard or according to what I know to be the truth would be kind of what it would mean. And uh, it's a neat little ending right here. Bloop, 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 dum, dum. Can't play that on the ukulele. I, I, that's past my skills. So I guess that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the Jitney bus. And uh, Byron Gay liked to write songs about cars, apparently. <laughs> And I ran into him in a couple of other places. Seems like he wrote lots of songs about cars. And I, I think that's, uh, I think that's about all I've been through. All of this stuff here. Yeah. So that's it. The uh, the Jitney bus was a unlicensed, unofficial, privately owned conveyance for pay. And uh, the the. Uh, conditions of the conveyance were likely uh, modified and improvised to be able to carry as many people at once as possible and they didn't charge very much so they could undercut all of the oh yeah I almost forgot there's one other thing they could undercut the uh, the official conveyances the uh, taxi cab companies and so forth yeah this is a uh, uh, um, a, what do you call this, a broadside or a bill that was passed around to uh, convince people to vote. And this was in San Francisco also, I believe. On Jitney Amendment Number 10, where they were going to vote on whether Jitney operation was going to be allowed or whether it was going to be cracked down on. And, uh, of course, all the people wanted it to uh, remain legal and all of the taxi and bus companies wanted it to be illegal so uh, I don't know uh, how this turned out but <laughs> but uh, this was a thing in San Francisco that they voted on back in the uh, in the 1910s somewhere around 1915 or so as that that was a, there was a really huge explosion of popularity in big cities of this phenomenon at that time like in New York and San Francisco and Los Angeles probably Chicago large cities like that so uh, that's all I know about the Jitney and the Jitney bus uh, thank you very much